Welcome everybody. In this video segment, I thought we should address an evergreen topic. The number of leaders I coach still bring this topic as an issue to the coaching table. And this is the topic around procrastination. One of the leaders I recently coached brought this challenge to the coaching table and it was one of his goals. He was saying that, look Priya, a number of people whom I used to work with, who were my peers, have now moved forward. And I am still in the same position. And I know I have the potential, but still I think procrastination is, uh, is, is, is within me and I'm not sure why I should address it. For a period of time, I address it and sometimes I'm, I'm able to progress a step forward and then I come back to ground zero and this is where we first started using a time and role balance tool uh, to understand what's happening do you have enough time is that why procrastination is coming up are you having um, enough time to address the roles of life is there a challenge somewhere in any of the life roles is that one of the causes for procrastination and it wasn't coming up. He, it seemed to be he was busy with work. He was doing a number of things. But one thing that came up was his uh, focus on his physical perspective, his health. We weren't sure how to, you know, address the challenge. And that's when uh, we said, let's look at energy management. And what is energy? Your body has hormones. And how do you utilize your energy to help you achieve your goals? So this is when he started off by, uh, you know, taking his blood works. He even went to went to a doctor to consult. What's happening with my body? How are my hormones functioning? And that was really uh, a, a, a moment of insight for him because a lot of his parameters were in red. And until then, he hadn't really paid too much attention to it. And then we started working due, uh, in the engagement. I think we started in October 2021. And when we progressed into 2022, he was slowly working on his health. And he could see a shift from a very lazy and a little, you know, let me, let it come, I will do it at the last minute kind of an attitude to somebody who was starting to become proactive, somebody who was starting to take control. And in April, when he came in one of the sessions, he said, look, you know what, all my health parameters, which were showing red, have now turned green. And it was surprising. And I don't know how it happened. I've just feel absolutely energetic. And that's when um, he also did a very interesting, creative thing at work, which surprised him. So there were three people in his team who were resigned. And this was the time of the great attrition, the great resignation. A lot of people were struggling with burnout. And so three of his engineers, um, and they were all f uh, female uh, leaders, and they would put down their papers. And my coachy was very surprised. He said, how could I go ahead? Now it's going to be the cost of hiring versus cost of retaining them. And they were unwilling to take back their resignation. So he said, I have to do something creative here. So what he did was he spoke to each one of them. He was able to help them shift from so many hours, which was coming in the way of other personal constraints that they had and got them into a flexible plan. And they all three of them stayed back. So when I had a mid engagement touch point with his manager, this particular factor came up as a, as a recognition, which the manager called out to me, the journey, which is more sustainable and consistent, which comes from your physical perspective and health can help you address procrastination in a more meaningful, credible and sustainable manner.